Hi everyone, my name is Stevie Acevedo and thank you for joining us today for our Transcribe-a-thon. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about our collections and we're going to be talking about how you can help us transcribe the letters in our collections. So without further ado, I'm going to be sharing my screen to show you all our PowerPoint. And if you have any questions at any point, feel free to reach out to the museum or reach out to me specifically um, at sacevedo at arcadiaca.gov. And I'll provide the email later on in this presentation. So once again, today we're gonna to be talking about the Transcribathon and we're gonna be specifically focused on the Anthony Wilkinson collection. So just as a courtesy, we have some Zoom etiquette we're asking everybody to do. Um, please keep your microphone muted. If you have any questions, feel free to message to Tech Help. We have a series of number of people helping us today um, that can answer any questions you might have. If you think I'm going too fast or too slow, you're always welcome to uh, click on participants and you can show um, too fast and too slow and that will let me know to slow down or to speed it up a little, which I don't think is gonna be the case. And if you have any questions, feel free to raise your hand. You also have the option in participants uh, to have me answer any questions you might have during the presentation. And if you also have any questions before, I mean, after our uh, event today, you're always welcome to reach out to me, like I mentioned before, or you can chat with one of our tech help people today. So, the Guild Museum of Arcadia Heritage, our mission is to collect, preserve, and recognize Arcadia's heritage, to create a shared identity for a diverse community, and to celebrate the city's rich history with exhibits and educational programs that will encourage community involvement, just like today for our Transcribathon. So our staff is myself, I'm the curator at the Guild Museum, so I deal a lot with the curation of the collections, the um, archives, I build all the exhibits we have at the museum, and so on and so forth. Any research questions you have, I usually will be the one answering them. And then we have Brittany Alberto, she's our part-time museum education coordinator. She does all our school programs, our scout programs, any programs we have of, involved in the museum, she's a part of it. So if you ever have any questions, you can always reach out to both of us. So why help transcribe? So transcribing helps make information and historical documents more accessible to people. When this collection has been transcribed, it will make it more available for the public to see. So that's our goal um, in having you all participate in our transcribe-a-thon today. So we are gonna be focusing on the Anthony Wilkinson collection, which is composed of approximately 700 letters and postcards, which were written by Edith Hartzell Grandy, a former army medic in the US Civil War between 1860 and the 1960s. So you can see that this collection alone is so broad and so amazing in that historical context. Because within the letters, one thing that we saw is that it's such an invaluable collection because it shows the perspective of a woman living in California during the Civil War. So the Guild Museum intends to digitize these letters and have that information available for a wider audience. So as we mentioned before, there's approximately 700 letters and postcards the Guild Museum intends to make accessible to not only researchers here, like us, um, but also have a statewide, national, and international audience that might be interested in that specific history that we have um, that's very unique here in our collection in Arcadia. So 3,115 pages is the estimate that I currently have of how many pages we need to transcribe in the collection. So to kind of give you an idea, I've been able to count all the letters and all the postcards we have, but I haven't been able to count all the pages. So within the first 100 pages or 100 letters in our collection, I was able to get an estimate from that. And from that is the reason why I got to the number 3,115 pages, but it's possible that there might be even more. Um, within every letter, there's sometimes one page or two pages, but then there has been some letters which you might see um, as we look at this collection. Um, sometimes it is composed of like 12 pages. So you can see how large and broad this collection can be. So with your help, we really um, will be able to kind of work on this collection a lot. As of today, 
um, we use a program called From the Page, and it's able to give us some statistics. So we currently have 586 pages of the collection in From the Page, and we have 155 letters from the collection. You can see we have 26 collaborators. We have a lot of people, um, including our volunteers, community members, and including you now, that will help us transcribe these letters. <clears throat> We currently have 90 pages transcribed, but we have 151 page edits, meaning that people have been working on different parts of the collection and the different letters and postcards. So we have had in the last seven days, six collaborators, but now that you are all participating, that number will definitely go higher. So we're really excited to kind of show this project to you all. So the Anthony Wilkinson Collection Project, there's different steps and different uh, phases that we want to go through. So one of them, of course, is inventory. So that's how we got the number of how many letters are in the collection and postcards. Um, digitization. So that part is what I've been currently doing um, right now. Um, which has been focusing on uh, photographing all the letters and all the postcards. Um, as we've mentioned before, a lot of these letters and postcards are so fragile. They're from the 1800s, as we've said, the range from the Anthony Wilkinson collection letters are from 1860 to 1960. So some of these are very fragile. So for us to digitize them by photographing them, it allows us to then do the process of curating those letters and making them um, protected and acid-free um, sheeting and stuff like that. And then from there, we no longer have to touch the originals, which are very fragile, but instead we can look at the digitized copies of these letters. Um, and then, sorry for the end kind of hanging down there, but the next step after we digitize them is to transcribe them, which is where you all come in um, with helping us with our transcribe-a-thon. So the transcription part is where we're currently at. And we're looking at the different um, different pages that we have in this collection. So the program that we use is called From the Page. And From the Page is a website made for transcribing documents and collaborating on transcriptions with others. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, the website is fromthepage.com. You are all encouraged to help us after this presentation transcribe some letters. But then I also encourage you, if you ever have, have if you ever have some free time, you're always welcome to go on from the page and continue um, transcribing some of the letters in our collection. So when you go to from the page website, you're gonna see this main page and then you'll see in the corner, which I will show you right now, on the right hand corner, it will say find a project. And so you're gonna to wanna to click on that part and once you get to it, you're gonna to get to a page similar to this. Um, and then you're gonna to go to the section that says search for collections or owners. And what you're gonna to wanna to put is Gilb. That's the easiest way to kind of search the collection. Um, writing out Anthony W. Wilkinson collection might be a little too hard. So that's why Gilb will take you straight to that one. So once you click and once you type out Guild and search it, you'll get to this page. So it says Guild Museum of Arcadia Heritage. That's the collection that belongs to us. You can see our mission statements on there again. Um, and then you'll see the Anthony Wilkinson letter collection and you're gonna wanna click on that one. Once you click on it, you'll get to this page and you'll see it says Anthony Wilkinson letter collection. It shows you an overview of the collection once again, and then it gives you all the work that's available for you to transcribe. So you also see this little green bar on some of them, which means that somebody's already been working on this collection. Uh, you can see that the light green color, that one means that these pages um, need review. And the dark green part means that these pages have been transcribed and are good to go. So you might see some letters that have this green bar, but then there's some pages that you might see or letters that you'll see that don't have this green bar such as letter 2020 102 101. So to kind of give you a little bit of a uh, background, um, the way that we kind of use our accession numbers here at the Guild Museum is 2020, for example, in this collection, that means the year that we were given this collection or donated, uh, had this collection donated to us at the Guild Museum. 102 means that's the number of the donation that was given to us at the museum. So this was the 100th and second item that we got into our collection that year. And 101 means 
the number of the letter that we have. So that's how we're able to kind of um, figure out what letter people are working on um, and also to find it in our collection. So just to give you a little bit of an overview, that's the numbering system. You might see it throughout the entire collection on here, but that just gives us a little bit more of an idea what letter um, people might be working on. So that's really helpful for us here at the museum. So you can see that on this letter, we don't have any green bars. Um, this letter alone has about five or six pages. So you can see four of them right now, but you can see it also says, this page is not transcribed. Please help transcribe this page. So if you click that, it will then lead you over to this page. So on this page, you see the letter itself, and then you see some stuff going on on the right side. Um, so before you get started, what you're gonna wanna do is confirm that you're not a robot. I know this is uh, interesting. We don't want robots working on our collection right now. And so you'll have to go through this process of like, you can see here, we have to select all the cars and then verify. And then that will um, show that we're not robots that are wanting to transcribe these letters. Uh, and then once you confirm that you're not a robot, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is you have two options, continue as guest or create an account and that's free. I highly encourage you if you're gonna be working on this project to actually create an account um, so you can keep track of all the letters you've been working on. And also that is helpful for us. If you ever have any questions, we can find your username or your email and we can, uh, we're able to kind of locate what letter you're working on and answer any questions you might have from there. So then if you were to create an account, you can see it's a super simple sign up. Uh, you just have to provide a username. This information will be what is available to, for um, the public to see and us to see. You just have to provide your email address, your password, and provide your name. So we can give you credit for that. So then after you're done doing that, once again, we don't want robots working on this collection. Uh, so you have to confirm you're not a robot and then you create your collection. Uh, create your account. So once you create your account, you will reach this page and now you can start transcribing. So now that you're gonna start transcribing, there's a couple of tools that will be super helpful for you um, in transcribing your letters. So in the top of the letter that you see, there's actually a couple components that will be useful um, for you to kind of utilize while you transcribe. You can see, of course, there's the zoom in, zoom out option, which in some cases, some letters are really, or some words are really hard to read. Um, all this collection is mostly in cursive. So that alone is gonna be a challenging uh, part to this project for some people. Um, but don't fear, like we're gonna go through the steps. We're gonna be able to figure this out and help one another. Um, so then we have zoom in, zoom out. We have flip clockwise, flip counterclockwise. Since I've been photographing them, I've been having to flip them as well. So if you see one that's unfortunately um, in a different direction, you're always able to kind of flip it so you can read it properly. Toggle full page. Well, if you click on that, it will zoom in the whole page onto your screen, um, but it won't give you the option to transcribe. So it'll give you an idea of how the letter looks, but then you will have to exit that part to get back to this page. And then last but not least, if you zoomed in too much, you've zoomed out so much, um, you're flipping too much or anything, anything that kind of occurs, what you can do is go back to go home and it'll just restore the page the way that it looks. Um, so those are some of the tools that will be helpful with your transcription. The next thing that you'll be use, utilizing a lot during this presentation or during your transcription is going to be that right side where you can transcribe the letters. And one thing to note is that we want to keep the letters as original as possible. So even if we see some grammar errors or um, we, we would like to just kind of continue it on as a run on sentence. We really encourage you to do a line item. So each line that is transcribed is transcribed properly. So you can see, this is the example I have. So you can see that the first line, it says, my dear Miss Grandy. And then the next um, lines just kind of go on the way that it's kind of transcribed or the way that it's written in the letter. And they'll be helpful for people who will later on possibly check your work. They can see like, oh, in this part, it looks like they might have been struggling on this section. Um, okay, so it's line 
uh, line 10. I can see line 10 on the letter as well. So then they can go back. So once you're done transcribing, as I mentioned right now, um, you're going to want to click needs review. And this will allow us, um, the staff here at the museum or other participants in this project, help review your stuff. You can see like on number seven, it looks like they wrote just, but then I put an S in the per, uh, parentheses that kind of gives the idea of like, this might be what the word is. If you have struggles where you don't know what some words are, you can always use brackets too, which I'll go over right now. So some transcription conventions, of course, we wanna keep the original spelling if possible. I know sometimes we wanna be grammar police, but we wanna keep it as original as possible. Uh, capitalization is really helpful for us, moder modernize the real ability for it. So if a new sentence was started, you can see that based on the capitalization of it. Punctuation, periods are okay, but don't add any punctuation like commas or apostrophes because once again, we wanna keep these letters as original as possible. Line breaks is really important is what I was kind of um, mentioning to you earlier about having stuff itemized. You can just press enter or return on your keyboard and that will let you know that you're going onto your, your new line on your letter. Um, but if you were to press two, um, two new lines, that will allow you to let us know that it's an indicator that it's a new paragraph. So sometimes in some letters, you do see paragraphs, sometimes it looks like a run on, you know, run on section in the letter. So whatever is easiest for you to kind of um, transcribe, we always encourage you to do that. Also, illegible text that always happens, especially in cursive. Um, which I've run into as well within this collection. So what you wanna do is actually use those brackets and the brackets are gonna um, help us know and identify that there's a question on what it might be saying. So for example, sometimes we see like doctor and then you wanna put a question mark there and then whoever's reviewing it or looking at that letter um, after you can be like, okay, let me see if I can transcribe this letter or the word that's being um, placed in brackets or if, you know, there's any other questions, we can kind of figure that out. So on the bottom of your page in the transcription page that you're working on, um, there's a section that's called notes and questions. So you're more than welcome to add notes and questions, but there's one thing to mention. If you're a guest, you don't have this option, but if you're a registered user, you can add notes to pages and comments. So you can put any difficult words you have, any suggested readings, discuss the text. Um, if you have questions about like, I don't know what this section is, or sometimes also putting notes such as the photograph isn't clear enough. Can you please photograph it once again? I can definitely go and look at these notes and then um, look at what needs to be redone. So that's always helpful. If you have any questions or notes, like I just said, you're always welcome to put those in the bottom if you're a registered user and not a guest. So some things to note is that there is common mistakes when transcribing. So sometimes there's cut and paste errors, hypercorrections, errors of word interpretation, errors of letter similarity, misreading, I or word skipping, which I am like always doing that as well. Um, so no foul happens to all of us. Um, synonym substitution. And then there's these two that are very important. So there's haplography when something is double in the original, but only transcribed once. Once again, so we want to keep the letter as original as possible. So even if it has it twice, we want to write that in there. And then the opposite of that is dittoography, where there's a repeated word or phrase that only occurs a single time in the original but then we accidentally as transcribers put it twice. So it's just some like common mistakes that you can catch yourself or um, once pages are being reviewed that can be seen. So just to let you know, that's always something that occurs commonly when transcribing letters, especially letters that are um, as old as the 1800s for us. So today we really wanna encourage you all after this presentation to continue to transcribe letters on our program. So we encourage you to all to go to fromthepage.com, create an account and start working on the Anthony Wilkinson collection to transcribe these letters that belong to Edith Graney, who was a civic uh, US Civil War nurse.
so or army medic so um if you have any questions after this program today or you just um need a little bit more a discussion about anything that we talked about today you're always welcome to email us at museum at arcadiaca.gov and Brittany and myself one of us will answer the questions you might have or you can email me directly at um S. Acevedo at arcadiaca.gov. One other thing I would like before our presentation ends today is encourage you all to participate in our virtual trivia night, which will be on Saturday, April 3rd. Um, that day's theme will be Lucky Baldwin, who was not only our founder of the city, but our first mayor here in the city of Arcadia. So we highly encourage everybody to join. It will start at 4 45 p.m. and then we'll um, straight up five will start the trivia night. Um, we're asking everybody to come in early just in case there's any questions or we have any tech issues and stuff like that. Um, the event is free, just like today's program is today. Uh, and all ages are welcome. You can register online on our website at www.arcadiaca.gov slash museum. And you can do our registration just like you did today to participate in our program today. So once again, thank you so much for helping us today with our transcription. So let's get to going on from the page and see what questions we might have. Um, once again, you can always reach out to me. Um, this presentation will be available online on our website. So if you ever have any questions or wanna look at what we discussed today, you're always welcome to reference it once again. So I just wanna thank you all again for participating in our project today. And I hope you all had a, have a wonderful time transcribing these letters. And once again, after this program today for our Transcribathon, you're always welcome to continue transcribing letters besides today. You can continue transcribing letters anytime that you're available, any free time that you might have, you're always available to uh, continue to transcribe these letters on fromthepage.com for us. So I wanna thank you all once again for joining us. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thank you.